Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome to the, uh, I guess, inaugural episode uh, of my now rebranded channel, Cincy2. Uh, if you're here, thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, subscribing. Hopefully you subscribed. Uh, but if you like what you see, if you like what you hear, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. But anyway, this is a comic book haul as the title implied. These are my comic books for the last, I don't know, it's like week and a half, two weeks. Uh, so I'm gonna try and do these videos on a weekly basis to show you my comic book haul. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something a little different because I do have some more time on these Cincy 2 videos to talk about the comic books. Uh, so I'm gonna save a few comic books. Here's the three I'm gonna save to the end to do a quick little art showcase. Some of these I'm just gonna show you which ones I picked up. And then I'm gonna save at the end of each comic book haul three comics to just randomly open up and show you the art inside. So let's get right to the haul. First one is the second printing of The Last Ronin. The first printing of this comic book uh, sold out pretty immediately, uh, went up very, very quickly in price. Like day of release, it went up to $20 and higher. Uh, the cover price on this is $8.99. It is an oversized comic book. But uh, as far as the second printing, the cover, all I can see is a slight color difference. I think that's the same image used from the first printing. But uh, if you're interested in the second printing, it's probably at your comic book store right now. So check it out. The Last Ronin. I have read the first issue uh, of The Last Ronin, the first printing. And I do know who The Last Ronin is. I know who the last remaining Ninja Turtle is. So uh, it's an interesting read. Check it out. I got Daredevil. I kind of lost interest in X-Men comic books during the uh, Ten of Swords storyline, so I got back into two different titles that I haven't read in a while, uh, one of which is Daredevil. And I have heard many, many great things about Daredevil, and I actually uh, picked up the last like four issues of Daredevil, and it has not disappointed. It's been a really good storyline, so really excited to, uh, to read 24. I'm actually caught up till then, and then I heard 25 sold out, because a certain, I guess, new character debuted. I actually have the second printing of Daredevil 25 on pre-order at my local comic book shop. And from what I hear, the cover of Daredevil 25 second printing will feature that new character on the cover. Immortal Hulk number 40, I am caught up on Immortal Hulk. I do love this comic book. It's probably my second favorite comic book uh, in Marvel right now, behind this one right here, Venom. Venom is fantastic. Donnie Cates continues to cement himself in my brain as my favorite writer in Marvel. Probably my favorite writer in comic books right now, honestly. Uh, not even just Marvel. He's just an awesome writer. Really, really intriguing stories. Great dialogue. I really love Donnie Cates' writing. If you have not bought any Venom comic books, now might be the best time to pick up the trades and uh, catch up because the poo-poo is about to hit the fan in Venom with King and Black. Uh, moving on to DC, Batman issue 103. I love this cover. Holy cow. That's a great cover. Harley looks fantastic on there. Great looking cover. I'm actually three issues back on Batman. I haven't read any of the new stuff with, I think his name is Ghostmaker, but I haven't read any of that storyline, so I gotta catch up. Deceased Dead Planets, I'm a big fan of the Deceased storylines. Tom Taylor is the writer on Deceased. For some reason, I somehow skipped issue four. I went from issue three to issue five. I'm like, where the frick did issue four go? Well, I ended up picking it up at my local comic book shop, so there's issue four. Awesome looking cover right there. And then I also picked up the newest issue of Deceased Dead Planet, issue six. Is that Trigon on the cover there? Not cut up, obviously, since I missed issue four. Uh, last issue I read is three, so I gotta play catch up, but that looks like Trigon. Picked up Justice League 56 because it's been tying into Death Metal, and uh, I have not read Justice League, so I'm still playing catch up. Still need to start reading where the Death Metal crossover started up, but there it is, there's the cover right there. Moving on to Image Books, Firepower Issue 6. I'm actually still reading the, the prequel trade that kind of uh, preceded the, uh, the numbered comic books, the singles. Uh, so they started with a trade paperback. Um, it's like an origin story, and I'm still reading that. So this is Robert Kirkman, by the way, so writer of The Walking Dead, if you like The Walking Dead. 
Might be a good one to pick up. If you like martial arts, might be a good one to pick up. Continuing on with the image, Nail Biter Returns. Nail Biter was probably one of my favorite horror comic books I've ever read. So um, this is Joshua Williamson. Excellent. Ex if you're a horror, thriller, serial killer type vibe freaking fan, <laughs> this is a really good comic book. So I'd highly recommend it. Nail Biter Returns. It's about a bunch of serial killers all from the same town. Crazy stuff there. That Texas Blood is already in issue six. I just read issue like two or three. So I definitely got to play catch up, but it's a really, really good comic book. I had never heard of Chris Condon before, but he's a good writer. So uh, this comic book might inspire me to pick up anything he writes going forward. So we have reached that point in uh, the comic book hall where I start going through and showcasing the artwork. Here are the three comic books I picked. So I picked a Marvel, two Marvels, and a DC. We're going to start with the Marvels first. Amazing Spider-Man. So this is a great looking cover. This is the nullified cover of Amazing Spider-Man. But this is the other comic book. I had mentioned, because I had lost interest in X-Men comic books, I got back into two different titles. One is Daredevil. The other is Amazing Spider-Man. And it's not just the art that I really, really enjoy in Amazing Spider-Man. It's the storyline. Really kind of got me hooked right away. I used to read Amazing Spider-Man religiously. And um, the, the new storyline just kind of really uh really got me back into it so random page i'm just pulling random pages here is what the art looks like right there very nice looking art this looks like mark bagley is this mark bagley it is it's mark bagley is the penciler so if you were an old school fan of amazing spider-man mark bagley was a uh, previous artist on the comic book i'm gonna pull uh, another so here's another random page Hopefully I'm not giving away any spoilers by showing you this artwork, but I really like the artwork. Mark Bagley does a great job on art. Very, very nice job. Let's see, and I'm gonna pull one more page here. How about this one? All right, so there's one more two page preview of the artwork. I really like it, so, and I love the cover. This is a variant cover, the nullified variant cover of Amazing Spider-Man. So there you go. There's the first comic book in the art showcase here. Let me know if you like this, if you like seeing a sampling, a preview of the artwork, if that's something that would inspire you to pick up a comic book just by the art. Here's the uh, next one, King in Black. So hopefully I'm not going to pull any spoilers here because this is a brand new series all about Null, the king, the god of the symbiotes. He's got a really, really interesting story, and I would recommend, if you were interested in knowing more about Null, to read the first trade of the Donny Cates run of Venom. It explains all about Null, explains how freaking powerful he is, where he is, uh, so on and so forth. But uh, let me pull some holy moly. So uh, that is the sampling of the artwork. Look at that. Wow, that is awesome. That is so cool. And that was just like the second page in. Let me pull another one here. Wow, this is crazy. Look at that Captain America right there. So this is this is impacting the entire Marvel Universe there. Null has arrived. He is going to F some S up, I say. <laughs> uh, here's the X-Men. Null, holy cow, look at that craziness absolute craziness going on in king and black holy crap so here is there he is right there wow i'm so excited to read this honestly because i've been reading a lot of venom recently and wow it, it gives like a lot of uh, information at the end too all right one more image and then i'll kind of show you what it shows you at the end oh that's a spoiler i can't show you that uh let's see here all right i'll show you this so there's another preview of the artwork. King in Black. Guys, it's issue one, so this is the time. If you wanna read this, this is the time to get into it. And look at this, it gives you a lot of information here to catch up with. This is awesome. I am so freaking excited to read this. I might start reading this as soon as I hit uh, stop on this 
recording right here. Um, really excited. So King in Black, issue one, that's the cover that I got. I think that's the regular cover. And the last but not least, in the art showcase, this is the last stories of the DC uh, universe. And this, I believe, from what I hear, ties directly into the next kind of uh, storyline in DC. So this was an expensive book. This was $9 for this book, but it is pretty thick. All right, let me show you some of the art in here. I like the art, wow. All right, so there's a sampling of the art. Green Lantern, Sinestro, Wonder Woman there. The art kind of varies, it looks like, in here. Because, let me show you. So here's the art, it has like green arrow there. And then look at that picture with Aquaman. That looks like two different artists to me. Cause this is more of like a, I don't know, like an anime style. And that's really, really awesome. I like that a lot right there. Is this multiple artists? I believe it's multiple artists. Yes, cause it's multiple stories in here. It's multiple short stories in here. So the artist differs based on the short story. That's cool. All right, so here's the art in one more of the short stories. So. Yeah, multiple stories, kind of like an anthology, but um, I can't recommend it yet because I haven't read it. But that just gives you a little sampling of the artwork inside. So uh, that is it, guys. That is the video. Hopefully you like this. Got a little bit more in-depth with the comic books. For those of you that came from my main page, uh, Cincy, as I now call it, Cincy Nerd, if you liked those comic book hauls, they're now going to be on this page. So hopefully you followed me over. Hopefully you're watching now. Let me know in the comments below what you picked up, maybe what your favorite book of the week was, or, or maybe just a book that you're reading that you're really enjoying that I might not know about. Uh, let's share that stuff in the comments and, and really kind of uh, share uh, comic books that uh, we like that I might be interested in or you might be interested in. So that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next comic book haul.